Saints John and Paul Parish started its humble beginnings in 1980, celebrating weekday masses and meetings in an old farmhouse built in the first part of the 20th century. The farmhouse was later torn down to become part of the Orchards Golf Club. Father Ron Says, our founding pastor, then started celebrating masses at Washington Elementary School and later at Powell Middle School before breaking ground at its current site on Sunday, October 2nd, 1983. Our very first Mass was on Christmas Eve of 1984. That was a, a great thrill. I think I practically floated down the aisle here as you know, said to First Mass. It was just a very, very beautiful experience, especially after having waited so long, almost five years to get into one's own building. You know, when we built the church in 84, when it finished, we knew that there was a lack. There was a lack of space, a lack, we had offices, of course, but there wasn't really any gathering space. So there was, at that time, the plan that someday we would have additions to be able to function in a way that perhaps a complete parish would. Uh, it takes a while for a community to grow. You just don't buy a piece of property and say, this is such and such a parish. I would certainly endorse the idea of an activities building. It expands the ministry of the church. It gives people a greater sense of gathering, not just for worship, but for other things as well. It's been a blessing for me the last 10 years to be able to come back to St. John and Paul to not only renew acquaintances with some of the people that I knew before, but uh, new people, uh, people that have come here since I, I left, as it were. As time passes, our needs as a parish grow and change. And as the need was seen 31 years ago to build a permanent home for Saints John and Paul Parish, as we continue to look toward the future, the need for a permanent parish life center has been identified so that we can grow as a parish and in our parish ministries. Saints John and Paul Parish is embarking on its most important, ambitious, and exciting project since the establishment of the parish in 1980. Changing Lives Together is part of an archdiocesan-wide endeavor to strengthen parishes. In addition, a small portion of the funds that are collected will go to three initiatives of the archdiocese. Strengthening Catholic schools, strengthening the seminary education information programs, and building up the church in the city of Detroit. But for us, and with our goal, our parish goal of over 1.6 million, that means that the vast majority of resources are focused on our needs. 90% of the funds then, if we reach our goal, will be going toward the needs of St. John and Paul Parish, while we're also helping in that 10% way, the archdiocesan needs. We are going to build a permanent parish life center. And the funds that we raised during this Changing Lives Together time will all be directed at building that parish life center. It will be a center that's attached to the church out of the uh, east side of the church. It will have a, a way to be a main entrance into the church and a gathering area. There will be a high quality, new, uh, modern kitchen facility. There will be up-to-date and large restrooms. There will be a multi-purpose uh, building that can be used for large social events, for community outreach, for, uh, for sports for the children, and many other uses. The phrase that we want you to think about is equal sacrifice, not equal gifts. Equal sacrifice, not equal gifts, because everyone's situation is so different. But to, to achieve that, uh, that significant of a goal, we will need those who are capable of it to think about significant gifts. And for some, it might be gifts of 10,000, 25,000, 50,000 or more. And we will need people to think in those terms. To help encourage uh, some thought along those directions, there are memorial opportunities. Many of the memorial opportunities, maybe most of them, are gonna be connected to a new parish prayer garden. No money that is donated goes to that prayer garden. We are already planning using parish operating budget to build that prayer garden. But I want to make it clear that every gift given will be gratefully received and will be acknowledged in that new parish life center. 
Saints John and Paul is a very active parish with over 1,200 registered families. We come together in faith and in fun to pray together and to play together. Our parish ministries allow us to share our time and talents in serving the needs of others through Samaritan House, Agape Center, Macomb Habitat for Humanity, and Project Hope, as well as hosting McRest guests for a week and sharing the bounty from our community garden. This parish has had a wonderful start, and it right now seems to be moving along, and the next step is to, to, to provide enough physical space for that growth to continue. You have to look to the future and what is available for our younger families and get the children involved and the, and the parents involved. Saints John and Paul Church is fortunate to have a vibrant youth group that not only gathers together to focus on their faith, but to work with each other to understand ways our faith can be shared with everyone in spite of differences. A new parish life center would uh, add a lot of value to what our kids have experienced at this parish some of the other uh, events that they do in, in other locations that they could host here, I think would be advantageous. And also with the pancake breakfast that they do, which is their sole fundraiser, it would be nice for them to have the ability to serve more people. And any activities that the kids do are limited with the kitchen and also with the amount of space. And it would just be nice to not have a limit on their activities. My vision for a new parish life center uh, kind of is from the perspective of the family committee because you know, my family, we're part of the family committee. And there's a lot of functions that the family committee does and they do them throughout the year. And I think having a parish life center would allow us to do more functions throughout the year and expand some of the functions that we already do and really kind of reach out to more people to be part of the family committee and it kind of expand and, and really kind of build a community. One example would be potluck or the um, game night or one of the other functions we had was the, the, the square dance and the, the chili cook-off. I think you could do more of those things if you had a bigger facility to do those in. And I think that really helps build community. So, and then the other function that I think would be nice is having the multi-use is for uh, some of the, the, uh, the kids in the parish, if we could maybe get involved in the CYO program uh, to where they'd have a place to get to know each other and, and to participate there. I also think it would be um a good idea, uh, the multi-use purpose building for uh, make rest program because um, they can have more space to themselves um, saying that they're only here for about a week. I'm actually looking forward to how I think it's going to improve the grace program and catechism. Um, I think we can really get more of that whole community, the dinner, especially before grace where everybody comes together and sits down for dinner. Uh, I would, I think, have a better um, backdrop, better um, place to, to serve the dinner and to have you know that community come together and uh, I know too some some of the rooms get very crammed especially when it, that we do the breakout sessions with um, the specific age groups so it'd be really great to have give more options instead of the kids sometimes it's very difficult for them just to sit in a chair for an hour at a time so with the bigger rooms and bigger areas might be um, a way to be more creative in the way that um, you know we teach them about about the church and about God and actually you know, bring in some other activities that may keep their interest and may really get them more involved. Our parish has slowly changed its appearance, but our focus has remained the same. If I had to sum up what Changing Lives Together is about, it's an opportunity to contribute a solid foundation to the future of this parish. It will need the support of all of us to reach uh, the significant goal that we have set for ourselves. But what an important goal, what a, what a good vision, because we're looking at the future, we're looking to grow, we're looking to have the resources and facilities that will allow this parish to meet the needs of its parishioners and the wider needs of the community. And we can make that happen by being part of changing lives together. So join us as we continue in our journey at Saints John and Paul, a journey that is rich in faith and community, a journey that allows us to grow and expand our outreach as we embrace the upcoming opportunities that will shape the future of Saints John and Paul Parish. 
a journey which will allow us to change lives together. Change